Hey there, it's Tuesday, so it's time for another short video, which I'm going to attempt to do every Tuesday from now on, but we'll see how long I can actually keep it up. Today I thought I would talk about how I avoid experiencing artist block or burnout. This isn't 100% foolproof. There's still some days where I really just don't want to come to work, but this is my job and this is what I do at least five days a week. So I can't afford to just not want to come to work or just not be in the mood to create. Part of this is a really big mindset shift. Initially, when I started out, I also thought that you have to be in the mood to create art, but I realized that if you only make art when you're in the mood, then you won't make very much art and it's really hard to make a living from something that you don't often feel like doing. So I had to change my mindset. Art is not something that I do when I'm in the mood. Art is just my job and I do it five days a week whether or not I'm in the mood to do it. Some days I don't produce the kind of work that I want to produce and maybe that's because I wasn't in the mood. But I also learn a lot from those experiences and from making mistakes and making paintings that I didn't like when I finished them. It's important to me that I work at least a certain number of hours a day, but not more than another amount. So I try to work at least four hours a day and that does not include paperwork and shipping orders. I try to paint and draw at least four hours a day. That's kind of a lot. If you ever sit down and just draw for an hour or just paint for an hour, you can get pretty far in an hour. But I try to get at least four hours in every single day. And if I can do that five days a week, I'm getting 20 hours a week to paint, which might not sound like a lot, but there's also several hours a day of updating my website, making videos, scanning, printing, and so on. And all that factors into this becoming a full-time job. At the same time, I don't want to spend so much time at work that I feel like I never do anything else. So if you spend too much time in the studio, spend too much time sitting at the easel, not only do you start to run into health problems, but you also will find that you really feel more like you're being punished than anything else. Like you are a slave to the art, which can sometimes feel very like bohemian and romanticized. But if that's your daily life for a long period of time, it really grinds you down and you don't look forward to coming to work anymore. In order to help myself feel less burned out, I try to schedule a certain amount of free time every day. And so sometimes this is just, I'm sorry, my cat is being weird. Yes, yeah, Cece. Yes, yeah, Cece. Don't make me kick you out. So I, I try to f schedule some free time every evening usually, and it might just be like half an hour or an hour of watching stupid stuff on TV. Um, but sometimes it might be like an hour or two hours of playing a video game or playing board games with my son or doing a craft project or just being in the garden or whatever. This time of year, most of my free time is outside. I have a huge vegetable garden in my backyard and a growing flower garden in my front yard. So it takes a lot of my time to prune things, plant things, pick things, and so on. So a lot of my free time during the summertime is outside. But in the wintertime, I like to sit inside and I like to, you know, read, listen to podcasts, watch TV like everyone else. It's important that you schedule that, I think, because then you always are looking forward to your free time. If you don't know when you're going to have some free time, you don't really have anything to look forward to and it can kind of feel like you're just struggling through work and you're just coming to work every day and there's no reward, there's no like pot of gold at the other end of the rainbow or anything like that. It's just more work. My worst periods of feeling burned out usually have come when I have been trying to paint things that I thought I should paint, not necessarily things that I wanted to paint. And sometimes we think that there's only certain subjects that we can sell, so we should always paint things in those subjects. The problem with that is that 
you know, obviously we're people, we have lots of different thoughts and lots of different things that we like, and you can really only paint the same subject for so long before it just feels really boring and kind of painful to come to work every day and just paint the same thing over and over again. At the same time, there are times when you will have to take work that isn't necessarily something that you want to paint. It isn't necessarily something you're interested in, but you'll have to pay the bills. So you will take those jobs because you'll get paid for them and you will end up painting things that you just really don't want to paint. And again, this goes back to the whole concept of being in the mood to make art. If I waited until I was in the mood to work on some of the things that I get hired to paint, they would never get finished because I would just never be interested in painting them. It's surprising that often the things that we want to paint are the things that we will do the best job painting, and often those things will sell better than you expect. It's also important not to expect that every single thing that you paint will be a huge masterpiece. That's why I work on these little pieces between large pieces, why I do things like my oil book, why I sketch a lot, because if every single thing that I worked on was really high pressure, it would just be exhausting and after a while it just wouldn't be fun anymore. I wouldn't look forward to painting any of my ideas at all. I just wouldn't want to be here and eventually I would probably just stop. Ultimately, learning how to do these things and changing my mindset is something that took a lot of practice and a lot of time, but I firmly believe and have experienced myself that if you keep telling your brain you want things to be different, your brain will figure out a way to make that happen. I hope that this helps you, and I hope that wherever you are, whatever kind of art you make, that you are enjoying the journey, if nothing else. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.